Hey guys, welcome back. Drip and Farm for Poverty. I'm your host, Drip Coach, dropping knowledge bombs on all Drip ecosystem related projects. And today's video, it's an update on uh, that SafeUgo partnership that I mentioned that uh, we're looking at the Drip token and SafeUgo being paired and how that would affect Drip. Now, TLDR, the partnerships with SafeUgo have been a failure, <laughs> for lack of a better word, but fail to me in the positive sense, the first attempt in learning. And that's one thing I gotta tip my hat to Brian for what he does. He executes quickly and he pivots even quicker. Now, before I go to the cons of Brian Legend, let's cons, not just con artists, but cons is in the negatives. <laughs> but first let's dive into again, the pros and the things I think that were positive. So you, uh, you saw me mention before that there was this partnership and we can come over here to the discord first let's look at the price action so since the token launched and uh full disclaimer i was able to get it at about 30 bucks i got one esco for right around 30 dollars. so i'm still up 4x on this so i can't really complain i only got one uh seifu itself has taken a huge dump since this collaboration came about but the esco token is still up substantially from where it launched and it's down from its all-time high of course as well but you see it's sitting at about 130 dollars right now now what's happened is over on the uh dap he has removed all the pairings so let's go over to the discord to see what that was about so uh, about a day ago i believe on this he made this announcement. Everything comes down to trial and error through past performance. We undergone the trials the past 17 days in the training, the safe Ugo AI. We have discovered throughout these trials by manually adding partnership LPs that bots are too incentivized to this environment, which therefore puts a complete damper on the ESCO price appreciation. To achieve true price appreciation and sustained growth for ESCO, I've decided as of today to delist and remove all partner LPs from safe Google platform entirely. Now, this is where I have to say I give him credit because he quickly added a lot of tokens. So you had like 14 or so in these partnerships over the last like two weeks. So that's like one a day. So for people in the community that gives them just at least some hopium seeing things done. And if you're paying attention, then you could have got some arbitrage opportunity for the ESCO token from all these partnerships that were announced, right? So from the development side, and like I said, the DGEN side, looking for things just to get in and be first, these were positive for the community. Now, it did definitely affect the safe go price, but people that were able to quickly arbitrage, you know, made some money, but probably more than likely mostly bots. So at this point in time, it's not only necessary to protect investors and boost our community sentiment, but it's also more than evident that the manual partner liquidity pools have only served as a detractor in our ecosystem. The only true way to have LPs complement Save Google's growth is to allow the addition of new LPs by actual proper accepted partnership agreements under the Save Google partnership program, meaning that projects looking to onboard and become a partner themselves are required to apply and provide their own liquidity by purchasing ESCO tokens from the open market, blah, 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 blah. So we're not going to look at that anymore. But what that is, and remember, this is what I said would be very interesting to see. So he created this partner program with these different tiers that you have to pay for. Now, if Mr. Legend and his marketing prowess can convince projects to do this, then I think you will see some positive price appreciation because now you are removing the Ponzi-nomics of the traditional crypto DeFi space and adding utility by saying, hey, I can market your product. I can give you access to 150,000 people. We can do some cool things together, but you got to pay for all that access. Essentially exactly what I did to leverage the partnership between Spritz and Drip. I didn't, they didn't charge me anything and I didn't have to, uh, they didn't pay me anything. I didn't charge them anything. They didn't pay me anything. I didn't get charged, whatever, how you say that. But it was uh, basically leveraging the energy of the Drip community. So this is exactly what I've been saying that crypto or DeFi is. It's all about community. It's all about that energy. And you have to respect that energy right now being DeFi degens and of course a few hodlers as well. But we'll see how this shapes up. So the point I want to get at that these are all positive things that I got to tip my hat to Mr. Legend for doing for uh, creating something new, innovative and even having the failed launch, but getting everybody refunded in 72 hours. That was crazy. And then relaunching it again. And then now already adding like 14 partners and now removing those partners. Like that is a lot of stuff that has gone on in less than three weeks. 
So I got to give him credit for that. I don't know how many people are on his team. As far as I'm aware, it's just him and like one other dev, but there could be some others, but whoever he has, they are quick to execute. And that is a welcome energy in the space. So I got to say kudos to that. Now at the same time, as I mentioned, I believe he is a bold faced liar <laughs> and puts out statements and then literally retracts them. We have seen other devs lie to us as well. So this might just be par for the course. Now, what I mean by that is uh, one in particular that is no longer in the announcement. So he's very, very common to put out a statement and then just delete it from the announcement so nobody can go back and pull it. But this one specifically, he put out uh, three weeks ago or so to get votes. So June 7th, he had to get votes on how the fire pit burns would be utilized in the ecosystem. So essentially, there was some buybacks that could be done, TLDR. And he asked the community what they wanted with those buybacks. How much of that did they want to go towards ESCO? Now, as you can clearly see, 81% of the community said zero to ESCO. Even though in here, he's trying to convince you to use ESCO, he says, Please vote according to your personal opinion, keeping in sight the bright future of the ESCO token and its ecosystem. So what he wanted the community to do is allow for those burns or those, that accumulation of Seifu to be utilized for buybacks and burns for the ESCO token. So all of his attention has been pushed towards ESCO. We've seen that with other devs, how they create something new and then they want the entire community to move over to the new shiny thing, but the community clearly, again, does not want to move. The people have spoken, right? And they're like, no, we're invested in this old thing. We want you to make the old thing work. Stop trying to move us to the new thing. Now, here's where, again, I said he's a liar, con artist, whatever you want to call it. Because even though he put this out and it's supposed to be a democratic vote, and according to the vote, he would do accordingly, he just reneged. So 81% of the community said, hey, we want this to go towards Seifu. Z I'm sorry, 0% going to the ESCO token and all of that staying within Seifu. And he decided instead to move it to the ESCO token. Now, uh, you have to decide if he's acting in the better interest for the community as a long-term solution uh, or if he's just really acting in the selfish interest of himself because he created something else and just has given up or doesn't see how he can make Seifu work. But the point I'm getting at and that I've been mentioning and then beating the drum on for the Drip community is that the community is crypto. So you, well, I can't say the developers have to listen to the community, they don't. They can clearly just keep doing new projects and march to the beat of their own drum. But this is where we have the power to decide, right? So the community can decide to support said new project or not, or start building in their own right, like we've done in Drip and uh, go their own way so but again the props i do have to give him for is that he keeps his discord open and people in there can express their negative sentiment <laughs> and and sing him praises as well so there are people in here that call him a scammer say you know he lied he did this he pivoted you know you can't trust him but again what i have to say and this is just speculation um i believe that since he is always out here in the public so like you don't have to chase him into multiple different channels he gets in here and it's also recorded he's start talking directly to the community very frequently so i think because he's forward facing and because he uh communicates openly people give him a pass you can look at that from just human psychology whenever people are open about making their mistakes or hell even like the old snake oil salesman openly lie to you in your face um because we're human we want to always try to see the best in people so even if our gut is telling us one thing there's this kind of tribal nature to not ostracize someone from the tribe and kick them out it's like well maybe they'll be different maybe they'll change maybe maybe it's better this time you know so i think the reason he gets a lot of support or at least there's a overwhelming majority positive sentiment in this community and on the post that he does and the feedback and stuff is because I believe he's so vocal. So even though he can literally smile in your face and slap you with the other one or smile in your face and pick your pocket, um, they're willing to give him the benefit of the doubt, I believe, just simply because he's out here talking directly to them. And he, do he is smart like, and he does execute. So he gives the DGens what they want. They may not like the price action, but he's constantly um, doing things, right? So all that has to be taken into account 
but at the end of the day, we're all here to make money. So I can't, um, can't really say one way or the other. Again, personally, my ESCO is up still a four X. My Seifu that I purchased is down tremendously. And I thought I bought that on the dip, but maybe with this new pivot, we'll see that rebound or something. We'll see. But all in all, yeah, I just wanted to bring some light. So even though his initial launch failed and he relaunched and that took off and then now the partnerships has failed, he is back at it and appears to be trying to do what's been the best interest of the actual ESCO token pairs. Where is that at? Uh, so ESCO and Seifu. So maybe with just these two, we will start to see positive price action. We'll see. So right now, I think Seifu is down to about 11 cents which has been much, much lower than that. So still can't really fault the entire community and his project on that. So even though they were down to 0 0.009, I believe they're still up. What is that? A thousand X. So 10 X would be like say 0 0.01 and then yeah, another 10 X hundred X or so. I can't do math, but you guys get the point. So sitting at 11 cents from an all time low of 0 0.009 cents still ain't bad. Um, to say the least. So we will see how this goes uh, for intensive purposes now. I won't be tracking it because there is no partnership. And, and I know that no one in the drip community that is in charge will be paying for the partnership um, tiers here. So especially with this as a monthly fee, but this will be very interesting to see if somebody does do this, what, what teams and companies do do that because um, yeah, that's sustainability to the protocol and to that system. So yeah, 0 0.11 and yeah, 1000%. So not bad. All right, that's all I got. Hope that provides value. If it did, smash that HBO special. Help brother out. Like, subscribe, comment down below. Until next time, lift daily and achieve your impossible. See ya. Want to pay your in real life bills with crypto? How about send crypto directly to anyone with a bank account? Spritz Finance is a decentralized solution to be your own bank and connect your crypto earnings to real-world bills and payments. They do not take custody of your assets and allow support on multiple blockchains and Web3 wallets. Sign up below using my referral link and you will get $50 back when you make your first $50 bill payment with crypto. Additionally, I will be using referral bonuses to airdrop, donate, or burn based on community feedback. Sign up now.